I'm Denise with Artist Her Paint Party. You have to customize it. Make something that you like. Make it personal to you. However that is. Oh! <laughs> That's so cute! I love his little hat. You could be painting your bunny in. I just, so this is a pretty spring bunny and I think that nice, lighter, you know, softer colors look really nice for spring pastel. As big or as small as you want. Hey, Nisi. Hey, Rach. Can you slow down a little bit? Thing. Actually, I thought it was almost looking like a butterfly, but uh, I thought it would be cool, and I had an apple today, so I saved the core. <laughs> That's a great. I wasn't sure if it would work or not, but I thought I'd give it a try. Yeah, I really like that you're reusing the material that may not seem to have a purpose and might have otherwise been thrown out. Right. Well, hi, you guys! Oh, I'm so happy you're here with me today. The weather is gorgeous. And you guys, I was in the mood to paint really bright today. I don't know about you. I think the weather is making me feel really bright and sunshiny. So I picked some really bright, fun colors to do my hippo today. You guys can do it any color you want. Okay, because that's what we do, right? You guys make it your own, customize it however you want to. So, um, and you guys got to help me come up with a name for my hippo and your hippo and your friends. So you don't have to have one bird. You could have a whole flock of birds, right? Um, I am going to warm up my hands, get them all ready to create. You guys, I am going to use a Sharpie to draw with, but I want you to use a pencil in case you have to erase it. The only reason why I'm using a Sharpie is so you can see it better on the camera. And I always start with a sloppy copy. Okay, so I'm going to do a sloppy copy. That's my practice version of the hippo. And let's see. So my format, the way I have my paper is vertical. So it's taller. All right. And I'm going to start with an arch. This is going to be my hippo's head. Okay. There's like an, an arch. And then my hippo's ears. And yours does not have to look like mine, right? Yours is going to look like yours. Those are the ears. And then I'm going to do the inside of the ears. You don't have to keep up with me. Take your time. Right now it could be any kind of animal, right? It could be a bunny. It could be a chipmunk. It could be whatever you want. But I'm trying to get it to look like a hippo. So I'm going to keep going. Now I'm going to add the, um, I don't want to, I want to call it a snout. Is it a snout? Does a hippo have a snout? So I'm going to do a line like this. So that's that part. It's lopsided. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's okay. It kind of looks like a big peanut, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, Lola. And I got a book. Yes, I remember the book. I went to the library. And you guys can buy the book or go to the library, right? So this is from the local library. I'm going to put the an arch here and an arch here. And then this is the nostril. And then a smile. Can you tell I'm in a good... I'm, oh, I mean, I, I'm pretty much always in a good mood except when I have a blizzard like in May right <laughs> so but I've been so happy because the weather has been so spectacular so now again you're you guys if you're in pencil and yours is lopsided and you don't like it you can erase it okay my it's cartoony it's a cartoony it can be silly it doesn't have to be perfect right make it cute make it whatever you want and then the shape of my eyes are going to be like almost like eggs they're going to be oval And another oval, like that. And then I'll do the hippo body. So the hippo body is going to start and go out and down and around. And I'm going to do it again this way. So I'm going to start right around here, out, and then connect it. 
And I'm going to do the hippos legs. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I was sketching this out, I was thinking, hey, hippos kind of look like elephants. Don't they kind of look like elephants a little bit? Especially when I was doing these toes. So it's an arch, 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 arch. And then there's one a little bit behind it over here. I'll just put one toenail there. And I'm going to just, to be different, I'm going to make your bird can face any direction, okay? You, and you can have more than one bird. So I'm going to start with a line like this. Okay, and then the tail. Could do a triangle nose and give them an eye. And two legs. Oh, and I forgot the wing. How about the wing? Like that. So that one is facing a different direction. It doesn't matter. So it's up to you, whichever way you want. And you can put another little birdie over here if you want, or another one over here, where you can have one, right? It's up to you. So that is, oh, let's draw the ground. So right now he's like floating in the air, right? Because there's no ground. So we have to make the ground. And I'm just going to do like wavy sand down here. Yours can be on the grass. It doesn't have to be in the water. I'm going to make mine in the water with like the grass bottom. Or you can do the sand or you can do um, seaweed. You can do whatever, mud. Okay, whatever you want. So that's my sloppy copy. You guys can put a sun in the sky or clouds. All right. Now I'm using, today I'm using canvas, you guys. But you know I love those canvas pads. So I think a lot of you are using the canvas pads. Oh, I wanted to show you too. When I was practicing, I just wanted to give you guys an idea. Look, there's three birds. Okay, I wanted to say, oh, would I like three birds on there? I kind of like three birds, right? It looks cute. So that's why I was like, Hippo and Friends, you guys got to help me name them. So um, Hippo and Friends. So you guys can have one, two, or three birds, or no birds. Totally up to you, right? So are you guys still practicing? Because I do want to read you this book. And this book is by Maxwell Eaton. And he does a series of books the truth about hippos, the truth about elephants, the truth about birds. So he has a whole series of books about various uh, animals. And um, hmm, I'll read you right in the beginning. It says, did you know that all wild hippos live in Africa? I didn't know that. Did you know that hippos can't actually swim? Didn't know that. Did you know that hippos have two lower teeth the size of toilet plungers? No, I did not know that. Did you guys know that? <laughs> oh, it says impress your friends with these facts and many more from this hilarious and inform informative book. So, oh, I'm looking forward to it. Let me get my good copy sketched out and then I'll read you guys more fun facts. So the only time I've ever seen a hippo is at the zoo. And I've seen them swim in those tanks. I had no idea their bottom teeth were that big. And I have seen them swim, but it says they can't actually swim. But maybe they were just like floating along. I don't know. I thought hippos could swim, right? Especially look at the artwork. They're always around water. Hmm. Interesting. For sure. Okay. So let me go to my good one. So now my canvas, you guys, is again, it's vertical or portrait style. I'm using canvas. My canvas is 16 by 20. I like to use it larger on the camera just so you guys can see it better. So let's start again with that big head. Ooh, it, it would be cute to add those big giant teeth in our hippo, right? Maybe we can put some teeth in there. As big as toilet plungers. That's pretty big. Okay, so there's that arched head. And then the ears. And the inside of the ears. And then we did those um, oval eyes. I 
and the snout. And this little bottom part down here. Arch nostril, arch nostril. Almost looks like a baby rainbow. And then let's do the body. Remember the body comes starts up here at the head, out and down and around. Those legs, those thick short legs that look like elephants, right? Arch, arch, arch. One, two, three. And the hind legs are right here. And I'm just going to put one toenail, one toenail. And then how about the little birdie on the head? Now he's floating, right? So we got to put the ground, whatever kind of ground it is, sand, grass, mud, whatever you want, because it's your artwork, right? So let's learn. You guys catch up, right? I don't expect you to keep up with me. So you guys keep adding what you want to. You could put a rainbow in the background. You could put more animals. You could put a baby hippo. If you have, I, was, I had more room on this one. So I was like, oh, I should put a little baby hippo in the water. But maybe floating on top of the water. Maybe, um, oh, I was thinking would be cute too. Like a little tutu. What if you had a baby hippo like swimming? At, so it's coming out the top of the water with like a little, um, what do you call those things? Like a inner tube. <laughs> Lola, of course you can start painting. Lola, you go ahead and start painting. You guys can start whenever you're ready. So, hey, you guys, I, we got Charlotte and Tatum and Reagan all drawing and painting. Yay. And yeah, I know you guys somewhere started giving me names for the hippo. I just couldn't find them right before I started. So, um, you guys feel free to chat with me and tell me, give me some ideas of some names. So, I'm going to read you a little bit. So go ahead and you guys can don't have to um, wait for me. You can go ahead and start coloring. I want you guys to use any colors that you want to. So this one, I did not color the background. I was kind of waiting for you guys to help me. I could do a light blue sky. I kind of like it white, but I want it to be different than the eyes. So I thought I would paint it in later with you guys, but absolutely draw and start coloring it in. You guys can use colored pencils, markers, um, paint sticks, acrylic paint, temper paint, whatever you want to use today, use whatever you want. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, hippos. So it says, this is a hippopotamus, hippo for short. There are two kinds of hippos, common hippos and pygmy hippos. I didn't know that either. Did you guys know that? And then the common hippo says, there's nothing common about me. And then the little birdie down here says, unfortunately. And pygmy hippos, I'm small but sassy. Small but sassy. How I'd like that. And then there's like someone look in the little bushes. I'm small but sassy. I think that's funny. So again, you guys could add bushes. Your hippo doesn't have to be in the water, right? It could you could be it could be in the shrubs. A common hippo can weigh as much as four cows. Did you know that? I did not know that. Okay. It says. This doesn't feel safe. It's not. Hippos are among the largest animals on land, along with elephants and rhinoceroses. A pygmy hippo can weigh the same as a large pig. Uh, me pig? Me pygmy. 
<laughs> and a baby pygmy hippo is the size of a small dog. Have you seen my mom? Let's go find her. A baby hippo is called a calf. I did not know that. Interesting. I did not know that a baby hippo is called a calf. Hmm. All wild hippos live in Africa. Common hippos are found in bodies of water near grasslands. Bathtubs count. Look at that hippo's head sticking out of the pool. Pygmy hippos like the muddy shores of rivers and lakes in thick forests. Squishy toes. Is that your mom? I hope not. <laughs> interesting, huh? Those are some interesting hippo facts. I didn't know those things. So this book, you guys, is called The Truth About Hippos. Oops, sorry, I'm getting a glare. The Truth About Hippos. And it's by Maxwell Eaton. And he does a series of books. So he didn't, it, it, his books are called The Truth About Elephants, The Truth About Birds, The Truth About rhinoceroses. So he has a series of books and this one is the truth about hippos. So I find this really interesting with the facts. So I'm going to set it down though so I can, I got to be careful I don't get it dirty, but I'm going to set it down so I can start painting my elephant. I'm, oh, it's not an elephant. I don't know. I keep thinking my hippo looks like an elephant. Are you guys thinking that too? So I actually, oh, I forgot to do the water, you guys. You're, you're supposed to remind me. So but you don't have to do water, remember? So I'm just gonna do a wavy line from the side here, up, down, up, down, and off the page, okay? So that'll be my water, so he's in the water, but yours doesn't have to be. It could be in the jungle, in the mud, wherever you want it to be. Now, I'm gonna do the same purple, because I think I'm just in a purple, pink, turquoise mood. It makes me happy. So I'm going to use, do hippos have a tail? Well, let's keep reading, but let me start painting. I think hippos have a little short tail, but I, I don't know for sure. And I'm not putting one in my picture, but you could have a little, then he'd really look like an elephant, right? Are you, is yours looking like an elephant? Okay. So let's see. I want to see this is a good purple. What do you guys think? You can do yours gray or silver or blue. You can make any kind of hippo you want, right? Because it's your artwork. The more white you add to your color, the lighter it's gonna be. So if you want it to be softer, add more white. Softer uh, meaning like a more pastel. So look, if I add more white into it, it's gonna be more pastel. But I'm going to keep reading this book and I'll, I'll find out if they have a tail. I'm pretty sure hippos have a little tail, right? Like a little curly Q stumpy tail. Can you guys think of any animals that don't have tails? I was just thinking, hmm, what animals don't have tails? So if, if, if you think... Most animals have tails, and I'm sure a hippo has a tail. Do sloths have tails? So I'm going around my face. Now, you guys can always do your face the same color, right? Or your snout. It doesn't have to be different like mine. It could be like a lighter purple and a darker purple or so a different value. I'll add the water line later. I'm going to paint right over it for right now. So 
So I'm using acrylics, you guys, on canvas. And I went out of the line. Did you see that? Look at that smudge. I'm not even going to worry about it because it's going to dry. And then when I paint my water over it, it'll cover it. So don't worry if you go out of the line. Do they still have that game, um, Henrietta Hippo? It was like a, it was a, or the Hungry Hippo? Hungry Hippo? It was a game. Remember that? Or I shouldn't say remember that, but do they still have that game? All right, so I'm going to leave the snout and I'm going to paint the face. I could make my face the same purple. Maybe I make my face a little bit lighter. Well, I'm going to put a little bit more white in there and see. So it just looks a little bit different. Right, so it's a little. I'm just going to make my face a little bit lighter on this one versus my sample. So I'll make I, all I did was add more white to the purple to make it look different than the body. Again, so when you guys create different values of one color, it's called a tint, T-I-N-T, -T, when you add white to it. So if I take purple and I add white, I'm making a value. And that's when it's lighter, it's called a tint. And when it's darker, it's called a shade, like sunglasses. So I just made a tint of purple. And again, I'm going to make this part, that lighter purple. And then I can do that. Maybe I do the inside of the ear, the darker purple. So that would be called a shade. Let's see what it looks like with the darker purple in the ear. So I didn't actually add black to it. All I did was use the purple that I started with and I did not put any white in it. Oh, and I forgot his legs. <laughs> I'm like, well, he's looking pretty round there, right? He's looking pretty round without the legs. So. Again, I would not want my legs to be lighter. So let's just use, I'm not going to put any, so I didn't put any white at all. Maybe I make his toenails lighter or maybe his toenails are black. I don't know. I'm going to leave them white for right now. I think purple might be my favorite color. When I was growing up, my bedroom was purple. So I've always, it's just been one of my favorite colors always. If you don't have purple, you can make it by using blue and red. 
And if you have a sky blue, a sky blue and red really make a pretty purple. Better yet, if you have a sky blue and a magenta, mix them together, you're going to get an awesome purple. So what am I going to do back here? So this one's going to, the hind leg, this one should be even darker. I'll, I'll fix it later because I don't have, I didn't, you guys know I don't put black on my plate because then I end up getting it in all my, look at my color. But this black over here is dry. It's from, I reused my plate. It's from the other day. So I don't put black on my plate because I end up getting it in all my pretty colors and I don't like it. So I don't add black till the very, very end. Okay. All right, let's go back to the book. And then I'm going to do my pink. Pink, pink, pink. All right, so let's see what else. What else do we do? Do you guys have any fun facts about hippos? Hmm. Common hippos mostly eat grass. It's all there around here. Hippos use their tongue. Oh, sorry. Hippos use their tough lips to pluck grass and nibble. Hmm. Pygmy hippos eat grass, leaves, fruits, and roots. I like the variety. So it's pretty silly, huh? Hippos are dangerous animals. And they do not like to be bothered. I didn't know hippos were dangerous. No visitors, please. Look at <laughs> toilet plunger sized teeth. Look at those giant teeth. Can you believe that? Hippos may look clumsy, but they're very fast and will chase anyone who gets too close. If a hippo sees someone it doesn't like, it opens its mouth to show off its razor sharp teeth. We, we should go. We should go. <laughs> a hippo can open its mouth wide. If this book was a hippo mouth, it could open almost all the way. If it was a human mouth, you couldn't even read it. And then this little birdie says, you'd miss all my jokes. Okay, who would have ever thought that hippos were vicious? I did not know that. I, I just think of hippos as being sweet and cute. When a hippo goes to the bathroom, it flicks its tail. Oh, it, Lola, it has a tail. <laughs> when a hippo goes to the bathroom, it flicks its tail back and forth, splattering everything that comes out. Barf. Barf. Well, it's got to be a lot of grass, right? <laughs> what a fun fact. Wait till I show you the picture. And then the bird says, that's why I stand up here. Oh, my God. Look at that picture. That's gross. <laughs> so don't get too close to the hippo. They may do this mark trails or show dominance this way. Oh, great. So they may do this to show to mark trails or to show dominance. That's gross. But hey, they're animals, right? That's a fun fact for you guys to share. Hippos can't actually swim or ride a bike. Instead, they walk underwater or push off and sail through the water like otters. That's what I've seen at the zoo. I've seen them like swimming. I did not know. I mean, like pushing off of the wall, I guess. Hippos are denser than water, which means they sink like a rock. Hmm. So I guess that's why the water that they're in has to be really shallow. Common hippos and pygmy hippos both spend their days resting. Common hippos stay in the water in large groups. Hippos are nocturnal. I didn't know that either. That means that they sleep all day and they stay up all night. Has anyone seen this calf's mom? She has smooth gray skin. <laughs> They're being silly because everyone looks the same, right? A group of hippos is sometimes called a bloat. Interesting, right? I didn't know that they were nocturnal. Hmm. All right. 
I'll read you guys the rest after I'm done painting. Oh, that's a funny picture too. All right, so I'm gonna do pink next. And I have this really pretty magenta here. See that, ooh, look at that hot pink. Kind of reminds me of bubble gum. Now, if I wanna, so this one I didn't do as bright, right? This one's a little bit softer. So I'm just gonna scoop up some white and I'm gonna mix it right on my canvas. So that softens it up. It gives it a little bit more of a pastel look. Orange would look really cute too. So if you guys wanna do orange, but I did my bird orange. Oh, I should have done this one orange and then the bird pink. I still could. What do you guys think? Should I do it orange or should I leave it pink? I kind of like the soft pink. So the, again, this one is a little bit more pastel, which means, you know, the colors are a little bit softer. Has anybody been, oh, I got, how did I get black on there? Hmm. See, that's why I don't put black on my plate. Okay, so I've made a mistake, which I do all the time, you guys. So I can just take a paper towel and wipe it off, or I can be patient and let it dry, but I'm going to try and take a paper towel and wipe it off. There. Now, let's try not to bump into, I don't know how I did that because my black is dry. So I did that. Um, I learned that you could do, wipe off paint with a paper towel when I was at a paint party and someone accidentally let go of their paintbrush and it flew across the room and it hit like five big black streak across five canvases, all different people, and they all gasped. So if your paint is still pretty wet, you can always get a paper towel and kind of dab it off like you would do an eraser to a pencil. But you have to be careful you don't smudge the rest of your picture. His face is a little lopsided. It's kind of hard to paint from the side, right? So I'm just going to kind of come in here and fix it up a little bit. Plus, he's a cartoony. He could be silly. Okay. What do you think? Do you like the brighter pink or the lighter pink? Let me, I don't know how long they can breathe underwater, but I'm going to, I just had a question, you guys, how long can hippos breathe underwater? I'm going to finish the book. Maybe it'll give us more fun facts. It's getting a little more even, right? Okay. How many birds are you guys adding? Are you doing more than one? Should I put another birdie over here? You guys want me to add another bird? Or should I leave it one? I could put like a little birdie on his head over here.
You like it better with two or one. And you can even put a baby birdie like over here if you want to. You don't have to, but if you wanted to add another bird, you could do that too, right? And I'm not doing black yet. So let's see. How about the water? Let's do the water. I found like a cool turquoise color. It's called aqua. But you can use blue. You can use, just don't use navy blue because we, we don't want it to be that dark. So this is aqua. And again, that's right out of the bottle. So what do I do if I want to make it lighter? I would add some white to it. So for right now, I'm going to leave it. Because what I could do, and I'm going to show you guys how to make it look like the water lines. One bird. You guys like it better with one bird and you like it better brighter. So that's the responses. I like the brighter pink with the brighter purple. The lighter pink looks great with the lighter purple. Thank you. And then one bird. You guys like one bird more than two birds. Yeah, I think one bird's cute too. I just like to give you options. And then where's my one with three? So look. One, two, or three birds. Or no birds. You could have zero. You would have just the hippo. So this, again, is aqua, and I have not added any white to it. So I think aqua, purple, and pink look really pretty together. And I'm agreeing with you. I think I like it brighter than softer pastel. Is it too late to change it? Of course not. This would be a cute one to give someone as a present. You could put like maybe one bird for every person in your family. Or not, you can, you don't have to customize it that way. Don't forget the water in here. All right, so let's, I'm going to just, I have a lot of pink on my plate. Oop, now I got blue on that. I'm being messy today, you guys. Do you ever have messier days than others? Today's one of those messy days. So I'm going to go back in here and just kind of brighten up my pink a little bit. Now my white is pretty wet. So I should be patient, just like I tell you guys all the time. Be patient, let it dry. Because I'm not going to get it to be bright pink again if I keep going over it with the white so wet. But even that two-tone look looks kind of cool. Okay, I'll leave it alone. I'm gonna be patient. I have some purple on my plate. I can go, now my purple's pretty dry. Maybe make it darker over here too. So if I make it darker around this, it'll make the head kind of pop out so that the head looks like it's closer, right? See how the dark makes it kind of pop out more?
Yeah, I like it dark too. Not as soft. So how do you know unless you experiment, right? That's why we experiment and we try. Fear no art. You just try it. If you don't like it, you do it again, and you do it again, and you do it again, right? And you do it till you like it. You don't just make one hippo and then you're done with it. You guys saw how many hippos I have here, right? I've done it several times. And every time I do it, it comes out a little different. Yeah, definitely like it darker. But how would we know if we didn't experiment? Now, you guys that do digital art, it's so easy to change colors. Now, I don't do digital art because technology and me, we're just becoming friends now, but barely. <laughs> you guys, I'm still having challenges. So, but I'm working on it. Always working on it. I think I'm out of purple. And see how my brush stroke follows the shape of whatever it is I'm painting? All right. Better. You guys, I gave you the link early, but I'm going to give it to you again if you want to come on camera. Oh, oh, there's my phone. Let me find my phone. You guys can come on camera anytime you're ready. Um, I... Um... Let me get you guys the link. I put it in the group early, just uh, so if you wanted to come on early. Do, 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 do. It's always so funny when I come on here and let me see if I can paste. All right, so if you guys can see it now, can you see the link? There's a link to come on if you guys want to come on the camera. Share what you're doing. I'd love to see it. Who's here? Lola. Hey, Lola. Okay. So, let me just it up. This is mine. I'm not done yet. You don't have to. And, and then here's the baby hippo right here. 
my pillow or something. So cute. I love the baby. And, I, and I, I wanted to, and then here's a mama, and then I wanted to put a bear here. So and um, I use acrylic and these scrunchies. Paint sticks. Love the paint. Yeah. You, you, um, you have to show up to animate the one. You mean the Amini that we did? Uh, right here. Yeah, I want to. Came out so great. Can you can you post a picture of that? Okay, let me just um. I don't have to do it right now, but I want to put that. Yeah. I love the way that came out. And I wanted to say, since um at school, I wanted to say that we're just learning about animals because I wanted. To like different kind of animals, so I'm making a book just like the one that you're reading right now. That's awesome. Yeah. Do you have a favorite animal? Um, I, yeah, I do have a favorite animal, but the animal I'm studying is about armadillos. Armadillos? Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they're very, they, if, you, if you go to somewhere else and you see armadillos, you can't touch them because... They have this kind of disease that's called leprosy. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. We have skunks. <laughs> I don't really like skunks. Yeah. Well. I don't but, they're so cute, but they yeah. <laughs> But they do have a lot of facts. What? The armadillo? No, the skunk. Oh, the skunk. Yeah. Tell us something. About what? About a skunk. You know anything other than um, skunk? Ooh, I don't know anything about skunks. All right. Well, don't forget to send me a picture of your anime. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Lola. See you later. And, yeah. and may, um, maybe when everyone comes on, can we can we can you bring everyone here? Yeah. Stay stay down below. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. See ya. Well, hi, stranger. Hi. How are you? Good. Yeah. Um. Um. We we're about to um sell our house, so we we had to clean up all the painting stuff. So, um, I did this. Oh my gosh, that's so cute on the iPad. I wish I knew how to do that. That is so cute. So, is that hard to do? Um, not really. Um, but. The end I put like some texture in the water and like on the hippo kind of. That looks amazing. Thank you. You did a great job. Oh, I, I want a picture of that digital art. Like you holding up your iPad showing the digital art. That looks awesome. Okay. Hey, you guys have a safe move. I'm gonna miss your art studio it you know, with that big porch. Do you have another one? And are you gonna have another art studio? Um, I don't know. Probably. We will when we build, but it won't be right away. Got it. All right. Will you guys be safe and have a good move? Thanks. Thank All you. Right. Yeah. Happy Father's Day if I don't see you before then. Oh, thank you. All right. Bye, you guys. Bye. Oh, all right, you guys. Let's keep going. I see Charlotte and Tatum. You guys, I see you down in the green room, but I don't think your camera's on. So if you guys want to come on, turn your camera on and I'll put you on the screen. Oh, there they are. Yay. Hey, girls. Hey, girls. Hi. Let's go. You got your panda shirts on. Don't get those shirts dirty. How's it going? Good. Charlotte and Tatum are the ones who wanted to do hippos, right? By request? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and do you remember the time when we asked um those um um kids to be our friend? Yes, I remember. I like that time. Wait, do you know what Wabkins are? No, what is that? Well, um, the old version they have a W on their hand. Um, well, this one is the new version. This one's the new version, and it's the regular hippo. And this hippo is the lake hippo. Wow. Oh my gosh! Don't get those dirty. They're so cute. Don't get paint on them. And for my birthday, um, Mimi is might get me Plumpy the mud hippo. That's sure it's the not art. the old ones. The old ones don't sell anymore. But if she can't find Plumpy the mud hippo, then she's going to get the mermaid hippo. 
Tell them about your art now. I love it. And I love your hippo that you made. Do you see the, the, the sky on the body? So cute. So you did, you like it with one bird, right? Yeah. I wanted to do it. I wanted it to look exactly like the big, huge one, but I really wanted to do a sky instead of leaving it wide. I love your sky. I, I'm thinking I'm going to paint mine too. I think I might paint my sky. Here's mine is a baby. Oh, I, I love the, the little water. Baby. It's floating in the water. Oh, it's floating in the water. That's so cute. Yeah. Yep. Well, I'm not really and done with mine yet. I wanted to make a baby too. And um, I put yeah. I put glitter glue on my hippo, and now it's Tommy is glittery with golden glitter glue and silver. But can I you come it. back on? Can you come oh. back on? It's and, uh, so sparkly. Um, can like you come back on? Because I really want to make a baby hippo. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to stay on for a little bit too because I have to finish the book. That looks awesome. I love those colors. That also, one's Regan's. And also, Regan, Lola, you're doing great. Um, Regan, say thank you. Um, and yeah. also, Lola, she wanted all of us to come on. Lola does want all of us to come on. Lola's finishing her artwork too. So I'm going to finish mine. I'll finish the book and then I'll bring who's ever on back on the Where screen. do you live? I live in Cleveland, Ohio. Well, we, we have in Tennessee. If we ever go though, I really want to meet you in person. You can come to Cleveland, Ohio anytime and I would love to meet you too. Well, um yesterday yesterday I wanted to go on vacation. I want to go on vacation every day. <laughs> Oh, I like your flamingo. I bought it a long time ago with Squaw Mama. I'm not the one who bought it. She bought it with me because I didn't bring my money. Well, um, I'm going to bring you guys back in a couple it was hard to pick out, But um, when I was jumping it over down at the door, like right in front of us, you might think you might see the back of us, but in front of us, um, um, when when I was vow, I mean, a super duper long time ago, um, I was like running around the house, and then uh, I jumped on my flamingo, and and do you know what I found out? What? A name. I I I'm pretty sure I got the name Barky from this. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, Barky the flamingo. Barky. All right, you guys, Emma and Bella are here, so I'm going to bring you back in a little bit, okay? Okay. Hey, girls. Hi. Okay, this is our guest. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, what's his name? Um, Frederick. <laughs> Frederick? <laughs> yes, we call him Freddy. Freddy. Hey, Freddy. Hey, that's hilarious. Wow. <laughs> All right, so let's see what you guys got going on for your creations today. Here, I use tempera paint sticks. Oh, I love that. I love that purple. It's like magenta purple. There's like a little bird up there. Oh, look at your little birdie. So cute. Oh, and I like the ground. I like how you did your sand and then the grass on the side. Yay. Yeah, this is like, I don't know, it's muddy grass or something. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Looks good. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's off. Let's see the tail. I want to see the tail. I want to see the yeah. All right, there you go. Because I thought the the tail was really short, but it's not that short. They do have a tail. Okay. You want to show yours? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You guys like the one bird too, right? You like just one. Mm -hmm. He just like standing there looking down at my tail. He's so cute. I like your light blue sky. I think I'm going to do my sky light blue. I'm really liking how you guys did that. Thank you. I'll, if you guys stick around, I know the girls want everyone to come back on camera, but give me a few minutes, okay? We also have uh, facts. Oh, good. Tell me some hippo facts. Okay, so hippos are like one of the most dangerous terrestrial land animals or something in Africa, and they account for like 3,000 yeah, 3, 3, deaths, yeah, deaths every year. in Africa every year. Yeah. And then I no, I did not know hippos were dangerous. I had no idea. Right? You would never even think. They look so cute. Yeah. They, they look favorite so animals, but then I found out they were jerks. <laughs> I had like, yeah, I don't see like 
anytime on you know you the Discovery Channel or you know National Geographic, you don't see like killer hippos. You just you know I had no idea. Yeah, the yeah. most dangerous terrestrial animal in Africa. Yep. On the whole, on the whole African continent. Are you kidding? <laughs> what about lions and tigers? <laughs> no, hippos are more dangerous. <laughs> That's so crazy. <laughs> yeah. Because and they're very territorial and pretty mean. Right. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, so you don't want to be around a hippo, apparently. <laughs> All right. Well, good to know when I go to Africa. Right. <laughs> also their name me um hippopotamus means um river horse. Yeah, from Greek. Oh, I didn't know that. Hippopotamus means river horse. Good. That's great information. <laughs> Some science right. for today. <laughs> You guys, give me a few minutes and I'm going to bring you back on, okay? All right. All right. Let's see. Um, all right. Great information. I love when you guys have all these facts for me. So let me finish my project. Look at, I, I painted him half purple here. He's only half done and now he's getting dry. Let me just, you guys did quick today. I think you guys what started before me. Did you? I know you. I told you you could. All right. Let me at least get that much done. And then the sand. I need a good sand color. Well, at least to gave my picture time to dry. I'll put some sand in the bottom. Who would have thought that hippos are the most dangerous in Africa? I mean, you think of Africa and you just think of cheetahs and, you know, tigers and lions. And I sure don't think of dangerous hippos. They're so cute. Okay, so let's do my bird. I'm going to do two birds on this one since I already did it. Should I make them the same color? Okay. Well, that's dry. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit of yellow down here. Put a little yellow in my sand. Looks kind of blah. Yeah, the yellow looks a little bit better. So while I'm letting that dry, you guys, I'm going to go over to my other artwork. And I'm going to paint the sky light blue. Because I love, see how I, look at, we learned from each other, right? So I just love that when you guys did the sky light blue. So I'm going to try, let's see. Let's see how it looks. You like it? This is my back to you guys. I love that Reagan did digital art because like she could probably change her colors so easily if she doesn't like something. You just, I don't know, tap it, I guess. So you guys, it's e probably easier to change a color digitally than it is to do it with paint. So I just lightened it up a little bit. What do you think? Do you like it the lighter blue? Or do you like it the white?
You guys like it better? Where'd my blue go? So I'm using a, what's this called? Huh. Interesting. <laughs> I'm using a paint called turquoise water for my sky, which is just a light blue. And I'm putting more white in it. And I just got some pink in there. But no one knows. Shh. No one knows your mistakes, but whoever you tell. So you guys, I'm just mixing that pink in there, right? So you like the, I, I like the blue better too. See, I'm glad you guys did that. All right, I know you guys want to all come on camera together. Oh, let me finish my book. I forgot the book. So at least you see, right, the blue. Let's finish this book, though. All right, pygmy hippos relax in the shade all alone. And his book, Your Calf's First Year. At night, both species of hippo leave the water to look for food. Pygmy hippos search the forest floor. Common hippo, Common hippos will walk miles by themselves to find enough grass. Where's that little calf? Follow me, kid. But when morning comes, the hippos head back home to rest and digest. And be with their calves. Mama! Hippos have big teeth, but that doesn't keep them from complete, completely, that doesn't keep them completely safe. We were having a moment. Common hippos are threatened by hunting. I don't like the sound of that. You think, who's going to hunt a hippo with them being so dangerous? No way, Jose. Right? Any pygmy hippos are losing their quiet, ah, oh, their forests because people are cutting down the forest. But you can help by learning more about hippos and then teaching others. Because hippos are incredible animals and terrible bikers. Try pedaling backwards. They're being silly. But they're basically in this book telling you that the forests are enda endangered. And that's why it's so important to recycle or just use products that, um, you know, are not single serving consumable products. And then that's the end of the book. See, look at that. And again, it talks about further research on saving the environment and, you know, and that's the cover of the book. Okay, so let's see you guys. I'll bring you on. I know some of you guys have to go, so I'll bring you guys on camera. So I'm going to start adding you guys. Let's see if Lola's around. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, and Reagan, I guess, left. So you guys, Reagan's moving. Oh, 
So everybody say, where's the twins? Everybody say, hi. Hi. A little more. Hey, you guys. There you go. How's that baby hippo coming? All right, you guys. I'm glad. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Emma, are you going to leave the background white? It's a little bit colored in with pencil. But oh, yeah, yeah. Now I see it. I made okay. my hippo look a little mad. How do I fix that? <laughs> um, can I see your picture? Yeah. It, it looks mad. Really mad. <laughs> he looks well, evil. What are, um, all right. You know what, Lola? When I do the mouth right here, yeah. so what, I'm going to show you on my one over here. So it's the mouth that's going to make him look evil. I didn't get my black out yet because you guys know how bad I am. So here, I'll use my marker. Watch me on this one. Right, watch me, Lola. If I turn this mouth up a little bit, curve it up like a smile. Yeah. The look right here. Oh, okay. So curl the ends up a little bit. That, are you gonna, I, I'm going to finish mine, okay? I'm going to go back and finish mine. I need a person. You guys work for yours, too. All right. So, let's see. Where did we go? All right. I lost track of where I was. Okay, let me do finish the... I'm going to might as well finish the sky on this one, since I like it. I can't leave two half done artworks. This would be a great project to write a story about. You guys can write a story about the evil hippo who turned nice or you know something but this is definitely a cute little character you can turn into a story and you got to give your characters names All right. And I liked, you know, when you guys did the backgrounds different, I loved how everybody made it their own with their favorite colors, favorite supplies. You guys can use cut paper for this. You can add glitter. You can outline it. Oops, I just... I think I got the wrong color in there. And I love when your brush follows the direction of whatever it is that you're painting. Okay, and you can add more water lines to your hippo too. So if I wanted to put, um, you know, like some water lines over here, over here. Right, you can add more water lines.
And what else could we do? Oh, I was showing Lola how to do that. I gotta do his toes. So I didn't get the black out yet, but I can get the black out now. If I could find it. The black's over here. Now you guys also, you could put bubbles, right? So if you wanna do bubbles, ooh, let me see, I can. So I have some white paint. So I can use the cap. I think there's some pink in my white paint. Who wants to do bubbles? If you wanna do bubbles in your water, you could put, I'm afraid to do it. I'm not going to do it on that one. <laughs> I like that one. I don't, but you can use the cap and do a print of a bubble. Actually, all right, I'm not going to be afraid. I teach you guys not to be afraid. Here, there's a bubble. What do you think? You like the bubbles? All right, I'm going to put more white on my plate. So get some white, find a cap or something like a drink cap or something. Here, I'll put some, so I'm using the cap of my paint. You guys can add little bubbles. You like the bubbles on there? They're sure fun to make. All right, and then let's do the black. Okay, so Lola was saying her hippo was looking really, really mean. So if that happens, it's usually because of the mouth. So turn the edges of the mouth up a little bit and then he won't look as mean. So now I'm just using black. I could do his toenails black. Oh my gosh, it would be so, you guys could painting your toenails with nail polish or like fun bright colors. Orange, I didn't use any orange, but I do think orange looks good in this painting. You could add eyelashes. Okay, now I'm gonna do the sky. So you guys still like the, I still like the light blue too. I'm glad you guys did it. So I'm going to do it too. I'm going to make it really, really light. Make sure you share your pictures with me, you guys. Make sure that you post them. You can post them in the comments, post them in the group. You can send them to me. Share them on the Artist of Heart Paint Party page so everyone can see them. If not, I'll share them there. Now it's so light you can barely see it. Maybe I need a smidge more blue, what do you think? A smidge more blue. Smidge, is smidge a word? Smidge, no, I didn't make, okay, now it's gonna be darker.
Do you guys ever get chunks of stuff in your paint? Like you wonder where it came from? Like, what is that chunk on my canvas? I'd still like to put a little orange in my birds. Orange is another really fun color. So I do like it better with, oh my gosh, I could paint over it the other one. Oh my gosh, you guys, because I do like it better with just one. All right, so wait, I wonder if he's dry. If he's not dry, my picture is going to turn green. He's dry. Let's see if it covers it. Bye-bye, birdie. Bye-bye, birdie. We like you with one. There, look at that. But don't do it unless it's dry. Because if I did it before it was dry, it would have turned green. Because yellow and blue makes green. Yeah, we like them better single bird. Bird and hippo. Oh, I bumped into that's why you guys, that's why I don't put black on my plate. Cause that's what I do. I'm kind of a messy artist. So I'm just going to erase it. I'm not kind of a messy artist. I'm a very messy artist. Oh, like that. Look that. Get a fresh paper towel. Otherwise you're going to keep getting black everywhere. Now you guys know if I was patient, I could let it dry and then paint over it. So that's what's awesome about acrylic paint is you can paint over it, but you have to be patient and let it dry. Oh, he's getting better, right? He looks a little better. Lola, I hope that you curved the mouth and it made him look happier. So again, if, if you have this mouth and he's not looking too nice, give him a smile. I could outline it. Let me show you what it looks like outline. Do you like them outlined or not? Again, just see which way you like it better. I kind of like it not outlined. Hey, Lola's back. Let me finish outlining it. And then I'm going to bring Lola up, see what she's got going on. See if her hippo got better. There. Okay. Let's see. How's it going, Lola? Hi. So, um, my, since you said it was cartoon, I wanted to make this, um, her sleeping. So I covered her eyes and made her sleeping. Oh, I love it. And I and I wanted to know how long can hippos breathe underwater? Because I don't know. I don't want the baby to drown. Wait, let me Google it. Oh, just got paint all over me. I, let me Google it. I don't know. Let's see. Look okay. at. Uh, well, like hers, at her, what I want to know all the products of something related to her system. Um, how long can hippos? Stay under water. It says that they set, spend 16 hours a day submerged in rivers and lakes. They can hold their breath for five minutes. Longer than me. 
<laughs> but there is a way that you can stay in the water. You have to go like this. And then get up. And then this and get up. Like that. Uh, yep. Yeah. All right. You. And what's your next art? Next. So every Wednesdays. So you're, uh, wait, 11, 12, what? You're at, it's 10 in the morning when I start, right? So you're, yeah. Every Wednesday's at 10 in the morning from now on until I just, like, the rest of the day. Every Wednesday. Yeah. So are we still doing art on Sundays? Okay. Because my mom keeps on worrying whenever we have to wake up so early. And no, just right on Wednesdays. Let's just plan on Wednesdays at 10. And um, if I do something special, I'll let you know. But right now, okay. just, I think it was easier for everyone to be yeah, on. But if you're doing something special, can you just put another day that I, that's not everyone doesn't have school, maybe? Yes. Well, I know that the aquarium wants to do something for Father's Day, and they haven't given me a yes. day yet. Do I do like seahorses or something with the aquarium? So mm. I'll let you know. Exactly. Uh, my dad, I don't know why dad likes fish, but let's see. <laughs> Thank you. What's your dad like? Uh, I think he likes dogs. Maybe a type of fish. I don't know. We have fish here. Maybe he likes fish. Okay, cool. All right. See you later. Bye. Thank you. All right, you guys. If you had enough hippos for today, well, oh, I was gonna finish outlining it but I kind of like him not outlined what do you guys think I think he looks cute not outlined I think see look at the difference he's soft and kind of pastel -y up here and then I outline him and he looks different so you guys do what you want you can add the bubbles if you want the ball I do like the bubbles let's try smaller bubbles I have a smaller lid here and I have lots of white paint left so I just dip it in the paint and do a print so I have a lid dip print dip print and you can put them in the water too print bubbles who doesn't love bubbles i love bubbles print i don't want to overdo it though i'll do one more bubble right here bubble all right have you had enough for today you guys keep creating on your own and um I'll see you guys again real soon. So thanks for watching. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart, you guys. I'll see you. Keep creating. Think outside the box, right? And uh, keep learning. I'll see you guys soon. Ignore that. It's not starting soon. It's, I should have it say ending soon. <laughs> ending soon. Ending soon. <laughs>